All right, hello everybody, and welcome to Rogue Glitch Ultra. This is a game that isn't quite out yet. The devs gave me an early copy, and uh, yeah, I, th I think there's still a couple things being worked on, but I think it's quite close to being done. So yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and jump in, do some gaming, and uh, you'll be seeing this in the, the future, I guess, kind of. Yeah, that. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of how all YouTube videos work. But anyway, we're, we're this goofy little guy, and you can, like, run around and jump, and there, there's, like, an auto-shoot, and then you get, like, bombs and, like, a special power-up. And uh, we'll, we'll just run into the tutorial real quick, so that way I, I know how to play, because uh, I have not played on the controller, but this really does feel like a good controller game. It's coming out on Steam and the, the Switch, by the way, so this could be a really good Switch game. It, it feels, like, nice and easy to control, and I always like that with the Switch. Um, press and hold jump to get over this gap, so... You can kind of, like, do a, a slight glide, I think. But yeah, we, we just double jump this, and you can wall jump, which is sweet. And when you get close to things, you just, you just auto-shoot, which is nice. But yeah, I'm, I'm not being paid to play this game or anything, just to be clear. Uh, just a game that was sent for me to play. And, uh, yeah, I thought it looked cool, so I was, I was interested in giving it a go. And you can see this sword basically increases our attack speed a bunch. The cool thing is, is uh, at least in the tutorial, you can, like, stack the same weapon multiple times. It makes you even stronger, which is pretty wild. Active item is X. That's good to know. Fires off some missiles, and they do some pretty good damage. And then bombs insta-kill enemies, which is kind of crazy. Like, that's, that's pretty nuts. Talk to people with Y. Hey, you. You look like a tough one. I bet you can beat this game easily. Now get going. All right, what a, what a little goober. Oh yeah, and there's there's also emotes uh, with with R B, I guess. Or uh, I wonder if R yeah, so R B and R T both work. So you, I like that they've got like a SNES controller up there. I wonder if I could plug my SNES controller in and it would work. Because I, I do have one that's good for for PC. Oh yeah, and then there's like um bunny hopping on enemies, which is cool. I like that. But you can only do it up to three times. And you can kind of, like, hear that in the sound. Alright. Well, I, I think that's all we really need to know. Let's let's jump into a real run. Uh, let's do it. It's, it's pretty simple, which is cool. Also, this game is multiplayer, and it's got online as well, which is cool. So, I, I imagine this will be, like, a good party game. Got, like, a little save spot. Interact to save and quit. Okay. Then we've got this lad here. Um, oh yeah, okay. So the, the the audio sound looks about right. Let me know if it, if it could be louder. We could do more of this game. We could make it a series. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, in the meantime, let me tell you something. To tell me. If you beat the game three times, you'll unlock another three zones. There are many encounters ahead of you. So keep trying, and don't give up. I love that they use the goofy little, like, colon D. <laughs> it's, it's really funny. So, Y or A to exit the portal? Oh. Oh, I get it. Okay. Alright. Sweet. So, our, our range is, like, pretty limited. I think this is going to be, like, a very movement-centric game. Because of the, uh, the auto-shooting. Which I'm super game for. It's always nice to have, like... I, I think auto-shooting is kind of like a... Like, it's it's really become very common in games in recent times. And I kind of like it a lot, actually. Even though it's it, like, simplifies the game down a bit. It's, it's nice to just be able to focus on moving and stuff. Okay, so we have... Oh, there's a timer. And the timer pauses when you're not in combat. Interesting. You can see a bunch of stats up in the top left. And we've got a map in the top right. Um, we don't have... Oh, th those are just for me. Okay, cool. So they, they literally had my name on them. That's cool. So we have 10 coins. Uh, we can't open that chest. I wonder if we can come back to it. So it looks like the boss is on our right, and there's a mystery room on our left. So we'll go there first. These look like they're... Okay, those are, in fact, enemies. Oof. Interesting. Do these enemies, like, die on contact with the ground? I don't know. Oh, that was really close. Almost got hit. I'm gonna try not to get hit at all, especially in the early game here. And I got hit immediately. Good job, me. <laughs> that was, I mean, that, that's what I get for opening my dumb mouth. Okay, so we've got another chest that we can't open. 
interestingly enough. So th these enemies are like in stasis briefly before we um, before we can fight them or whatever at the start of the round. So you can kind of assess the the situation. And th these are like pretty tight levels, so that that checks out. That makes good sense. Coins don't seem to have a lifetime yet. Oh yeah, by the way, this game is a roguelike, in case that wasn't obvious. I, I, I guess it's a pretty obvious roguelike. Uh, so we're up to 25 coins. We could unlock this 15 chest, but I'd like to go back and unlock one of these 25 chests. So what do we get out of that? We got hot coffee. Heal half your health when starting a new zone, plus one max health and health synergy. I don't know if there's a maximum amount of these items, but I'm game for it. That seems pretty nice. I mean, we, we don't really intend on taking much damage anyway. This game definitely seems like it's um, pretty easy, at least for now. But keep in mind that we are uh, we, we start off on easy mode, which is obviously going to make things very simple. Um, oof. Yeah, I, I think this will definitely be like a, a really good game for... like get it, I could see like getting someone into gaming with a game like this, which would be cool. Because I do have a couple of non-gamer friends who I can convinced to do this as like a party game or something. That'd be fun. Let's see if we can do some of this. I'm interested to see how difficult it gets though. We'll, we'll probably do um, depending on how long the runs are. We'll, we'll, we'll either do just one run or I'll, I'll do a couple runs after this one and unlock some of the higher difficulties and we'll, we'll do like two videos today or on this one I think. I got a lot of videos lined up that I'm planning on. Ooh, this is the treasure room so I just get this for free. Random shots, it probably misses its target. Um, it seems like a bad idea. I don't know what the benefit is, but we're going to take it, I guess. It seems really bad. <laughs> it seems like the worst possible item I could fathom. Okay, that's probably a heal room. We probably don't want to go there yet. Let's see if we can murder these things in any reasonable amount of time. These little wind-up dog things, I'm going to call them. They, they seem pretty goofy. Like, I, they, they, they seem pretty tricky to dodge. I was hoping that I could just, like, bounce on them. But bouncing doesn't seem to work on them yet. I wonder which enemies can be bounced on and which ones cannot. That's something I'll have to learn in time, I suppose. I like the wall jump mechanic so far. Uh, I guess we're going this way. We have eight gold, so we're not going to be able to afford anything new for a little bit. The random shot, by the way, has up my DPS a fair bit. I wasn't anticipating it to increase my damage that much. Okay, I think we just picked up a key. I'm going to go over this way, because I am struggling to deal with these guys raining stuff down on me. It's just that one green lad causing me problems. That was cool. I just, like, knocked something back in the background. Goodness. Is that bat talking to me? Wait, where's it going? Oh shit, was I supposed to kill it? I, I think that was like a time limited enemy. I wonder if it's gonna come back and attack me. That's interesting. Okay, so now we're up to 21 coins. I can unlock the 15 chest. Um, and then we've got this room over here. Ooh, choice room. Cool. Okay. So we've got whimsical star, sparkling stars, exploding shots. Some of your shots explode. And we've got life-seeking missiles. Um, considering we've got random shot, I could see the the life-seeking star, or like I I feel like the star might be pseudo homing, but this is true homing. Hmm. Oh no, it's a homing missile specifically. Okay, so it's it's not like homing shots. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go for the the stars. It seems like it it might be. Uh, the the best setup, especially if it gets some benefit from random shots, that would be really nice. Okay, let's jump up here. One heart for five coins. That's not worth it at all. Welcome to Hopu Hospital. Use our healing services as much as you need. A healthy and happy customer is our goal. Well, I'm gonna yoink your free heart, but I'm not spending money. Dang it! What the what the heck is the healthcare system in this game? Unbelievable. Um, okay, let's go to what looks like it could be an elite room. Oh, it looks like it might be a shop. What do we have here? Um, buffed shots. Chance to fire 30% stronger shot. That sounds really good. What's this guy all about? I'm Dr. Dude. 
This is my item, Transformator. It takes one of your items and transforms it into the one you see above me. I am a genius. All right. Well, you sound like a goofball. I don't. I think I've got some pretty good items. I'm gonna stick with what I've got. Um, I, I've taken a fair amount of damage, but I'm comfortable taking that amount of damage because we have healing. Uh, I don't know if the boss forces you down to the next floor or not, so we're gonna go ahead and grab this right and out right away. That's an active called Lava Eruption. So X to activate that. We'll we'll definitely be using that in the boss arena. Uh, Mega Piranha. Oh my God. Okay, that lava eruption's kind of nuts. Oh wow. Okay, we gotta we gotta put some respect on his name. All right, he is dead though. Rare item head plant. Your little friend. Cool. And we got malabites, which I'm gonna assume are like a meta currency. If I had to guess. And we've got another box to open up. The items so far have been pretty neat. Oh, jump shots. Let's fucking go. I love jump shots for whatever reason. I don't know. They're just... It's just good. And by the way, it looks like the, um, the item is based on room charges. Which is, um, you know, a pretty, pretty classic mechanic for games like this. There's definitely, like, a lot of uh, borrowed ideas. But I, I think this is a really cute package. This has been super fun so far. Alrighty, so we're at zone two or three. This guy got anything new to say? Uh, let me tell you something. Beat the game three times, and you'll unlock three more zones. Okay. Let's jump on in. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, there's... The enemies are probably going to be a lot more danger on this floor. Dangerous on this floor, if I had to guess. And I keep jumping into shots like a dummy. Very silly doing that. I don't know how lava eruption is going to work on this floor, because it looks like we're kind of more indoors on this one. The jump so shots are fantastic damage, by the way. And uh, the stars are completely independent of my random shots, which is nice. It looks like I can actually fire through, hit through walls with them, which is pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's quite strong. I like that a lot. That works for me. All right. These guys are sleeping. The damage from the jump shots is actually immense. Okay. Well, I guess that's all the stuff in this room. Definitely a much larger room than what we've been dealing with so far. Um, check out this room. What is that dude up there all about? Ah, oh my god. Okay. Do we want to kill this guy? What the... I think you can steal my stolen goods. Okay, so you're a thief. Who teleports. Just keep murdering him. Hopefully. Let's let's not rush on that too much. Because the fact that he teleports... I, I'm going to assume that he doesn't, like, leave. I don't know if he stole from me when he hit me. I'm not sure. I'll have to find out. Okay. Let's see if we can kill these things. There we go. He's in a... Big ol' enemy pile. Okay. Looks like it's just him left, and he's not leaving. These thief enemies, they, they can be a little bit tricky sometimes. Alright, wow. For a second I thought they dropped, like, an actual treasure chest for me to open, but that's a purchasable. I think I should be buying these treasure chests right away. They seem really good. Okay, so we got a burst shot option. That sounds decent, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Um, that looks like a, a horrifying room, to be honest. I don't know if I want to go there yet. Let's see how we do with this room. Oh my goodness, we're taking so much damage. I think I'm just not playing carefully enough. I gotta, I gotta put a little bit more respect. The, the character, by the way, um, their, their auto attack range is uh, very, very short. Which is part of my desire to get in close, like I have been. Oh my goodness. Yeah, th this game, it's, it's gonna take some getting used to, I think. But hopefully we're not, like, dooming ourselves. I'm sure we can just play a little better and everything will be fine. Our damage output seems like it's getting up there, that's for certain. Beautiful. Okay, so the eruption shot's back. We might go after a boss fight. We only have 3 HP, but I think we should be fine with that, as long as we've got the eruption. Okay, let's, uh, let's check out what this thing is, Health Eater. Okay, this guy wants to eat my health. I do not want to give my health. Omega Cube. Um, we're just gonna see if we can blow it up with the lava. Oh my god. 
Does he have a phase two? He has a phase two. That that felt very phase two-y to me. I could just sense it. Oh my god, we're gonna die to the boss, and I've been talking shit. <laughs> now I'm gonna get hit. Yep, there it is. God damn it! <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> All right. Well, we we can't end it at on 15 minutes. Let's let's give it another go. Oh my god, the fucking baby ass buck tooth. <laughs> this this right here is it's it's pissing me off. I gotta I gotta get onto hard mode. Oh yeah. By the way, there's there's appearance. You can change your color, and uh, yeah, we we don't have to be the the red looking amogus. We could we could go for like a a purple or a pink or whatever. Or any color you want. And then there's like a bunch of other stats we don't have here. There's character stuff, which is cool. And then there's upgrades as well. Um, we can upgrade character. Let's let's do that. Oh, we don't have enough Malabites. Okay. So we got to get some more of those before we can do any meta currency stuff. And we can't do anything higher than easy just yet. Alright, let's jump back in. Give it another go. And hopefully this time I don't lose horribly. I, I think I understand the game a little bit better now, and I need to just play it like a more defensive... I need to really use the the dive function on enemies. I think that's going to make my life a lot easier. I'm realizing where I was going wrong. Any enemy can be jumped on. I just need to hold down when I do it. And that's how we avoid taking damage when we're jumping on top of an enemy. So that that's where I was messing up last time, is I, I just was completely neglecting a really important mechanic. Which explains a lot. <laughs> I'm like, why am I getting hit so much? Why is this game so hard? Oh my goodness. Okay. Hopefully, we'll do a little bit better now that I've, I've got that mechanic in mind. I might go after the boss fight right away, to be honest. The fact that they give you the option to go after the boss right away is kind of sick. I'm about it. That'll be good for, like, skill skill checking and, you know, just being like, yeah, I'm, I'm good at the video game. Let me show you. What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? I was like, oh, let me go around. But there there is no going around. I was thinking there's some parkour to be had there. It seems like jumping on enemies doesn't deal damage to them, by the way. Which is uh, of note. It's it's a defensive option purely, not an offensive option. Reroll global item reroll machine. God damn, that sounds awesome. I don't have any items yet. Whoops, I just used my one bomb. This machine rerolls all items and uh, item pickups in this zone. That's freaking awesome. Um, wow, I had a bomb last time and I didn't use it. I feel very silly now. Oh my goodness. Somehow didn't take any damage there. Love to see it. There we go. Beautiful. Jump on up here. Oh my goodness. I, so there, there's like iframes to the, the jump mechanic. And it's like a lot of iframes, seemingly. So we, we can really abuse the, the ground pound. Maybe the ground point, pound does 1.5. 15 coins on that chest. It's pretty cheap. Might go that route. Let's do a little bit of this. I'm still so unsure on whether that actually... Yeah, it does. It does do damage. Confirmed. Does 1.5 damage. Dude, there's so much lava. For a first floor, this is a pretty spicy one, I gotta say. Also, we're taking a ton of damage because I'm real bad at this game. <laughs> what's what's the star? Let's find out. Choice room. Electric field zap nearby enemies with it's got electric synergy as well. Extra shot sounds nice or buff shots. I mean, do I want two times? Da is this two times damage? It looks like it's not two times damage. It's just chance to fire extra shots or chance to be thirty percent stronger. I mean, it. Hmm. I I feel like this is theoretically more damage. I've been getting in close to enemies, though, so let's run this one. Been definitely getting up in people's faces. No secret extra HP there. That's a shame. I should probably open this 15 chest. I, th I think getting your synergies early helps a lot. Oh. 
It stacks. Okay, so items stack. That's good to know. I, I don't know how effectively it stacks, but that seems like it could theoretically be very good. I'm, I'm hoping that it's really good. It looks like it might be really strong. Because we can just do so much persistent damage to enemies. I think we gained t back two hearts there, which is really nice. Okay. Um, let me jump in here. I can't start damaging enemies early, seemingly. Dude, this zap field is kind of nutty. Oh my god. Okay, we unlocked a new character. We unlocked Quick. Cool. I like the sounds of a character named Quick. I do like to go fast in video games. Um, we should open up this chest, I guess, for 20 and see what we got inside. Is that another... <laughs> What's happening, dude? <laughs> okay, so we now have Electric Synergy, which gave us a, an item. Powerful Electric Blasts. Sick. Wow. I, the, 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 I wonder what the chances of getting three of those are. What do we got in this one? We might want to re-roll this. Spinning Mace, covered in blood. It's a, uh, it's an orbital. It's a rare. Let's use the re-roll system. I don't know how good... In, like, the re-roll system's gonna be, like, the weakest it'll ever be for me right now. But I, I should still play around with it and see how it works. Okay. There we go. So we've now re-rolled. I'm gonna assume that that's, like, a one-time thing. So now, it's split shots. So we our shots split after hit. And we get plus 0.2 damage. Which doesn't sound like much... Because it isn't much. But it's something. And I don't know if Zap Field scales with anything like that. But that would be really good. What's our money at? Two coins. So we don't have enough money for anything, really. Uh, we'll, we'll just go into the boss fight again. Hello. So this guy is just going to get kind of destroyed, I think. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of damage. Goddamn. Total clear. Okay, so they, they care about my clear time. Interesting. What's this guy all about? Oh, a unique item. Okay, okay. Your stomps are explosive. Holy moly, that sounds amazing. Oh, look at that. So splash and explosive synergy. Cool. So they, they, there's so many different synergies in this game. Alright, so we can just leave. Or we can go and heal. But I, I don't think we need to heal for one. That seems a little unnecessary. Okay. Let's jump into zone two. I, I definitely feel like I've got like items that are a lot cooler this time. I'm very much appreciating the items that I've got. Interesting. They're, 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 look at how many are stacked up here. And we can sh hit people through walls. <laughs> the electricity synergy is amazing. Look at that. We just get to absolutely rip through everything. Being able to hit through walls on this level seems really, really good. Like th this is the, the time to abuse the heck out of this. Like, look at that. 2.7 damage a second just for chilling near somebody. Like, obviously there's a risk of being close to people, but, like, if you're sitting through a wall, what are you gonna do? Or what, what are they gonna do, rather? Okay. There we go. At some point I'll have to find someone to stomp on. But for now, we're doing just fine. There is another win. Alright, let's check out what we got going on over here. Little, little happy... Little happy men. Gonna have to destroy their lives. There we go. I don't like the angry looking block. That is concerning. There we go. Now we don't have to look at him anymore. Because he's dead. Wonderful. The 10 damage, though. <laughs> it's kind of insane. Definitely doing the deeps. We found a treasure room. Love that for us. Uh, explosive revenge. Drop a bomb after getting hit. Bombs one hit kill everything. And I also have two bombs now. Which is nice. I don't know where I picked up another bomb earlier. But I'm happy to have it. So b bombs one hit killing anything it touches. Is oh wow. Did that cost me one of my bombs? No it didn't. So my health is... How is that okay? Aren't I just going to one-hit every single boss no matter what? Like, I can't lose to bosses as long as I have more than one HP. Is that really a thing? 
I've never had a game where it's just like, oh yeah, you have a, a one-shot kill mechanic where you literally just want to kill anything you touch. Like, unless everything is one hit, but yeah, it's it's just weird. It's it's weird. But so far, it's it's definitely... I'm, I'm intrigued. There, there's got to be like a damage limit, right? If, if they're going to put all these damage numbers in the game, it would be really weird to just be like, oh yeah, bombs just instant kill everything. Like, look at that. I was, that wasn't on purpose, but it, it just happened. Okay, so now we're up to 26 gold. I don't know if there's a like a better quality rating for the different chest challenge room. Okay, so I, I'm seeing some spinning maces. Oh, is, is it just kill the enemies? That's not so bad. Oh, <laughs> I mean, maybe I should shut up. Maybe I should just shut up. Because maybe this is really bad. The bombs, though. The bombs, though, right? Absolutely the bombs, though. That's how I'm feeling about this. I don't have an X item yet, which is a shame. That would go a long way toward making me feel a little bit more comfortable. We we sacrificed HP for a good cause. We now have Fireball. Cast Fireball on crit, plus 10 crit. And it's Fire Synergy. Hmm. I would love to re-roll this. I don't think it really hits with our build, per se. Um, I'll, I'll go for it, though, because I, I don't think I've got a better option. I Like, we, we don't have any sign of a, a crit, and at this point, I, I think we should be taking every item we can get our hands on. Let's go ahead and open the 20-coin chest here. We got another zap field, so that's probably going to continue increasing damage, and it's definitely increasing the radius of the zap field. Like, our, our zap field, <laughs> look at the range, dude. That's insane. I'm hitting enemies through walls. If I get the zap field big enough, I'm just not going to have to engage with the game. I can just be a coward. Hit everything through walls. Look at this. It's awesome. Alright, so we're up to 16 gold. I don't think we're going to do much with that yet. I wonder how common reroll stations are. Because so far, we're, we're one for two on seeing them. Okay, so we're, we're getting some crits there. Looks like the crits are more common from my, my basic attacks than anything. I don't know what this is. Is that is that a key or is it a bomb? Oh, that's a bomb. Okay. I thought what was a key is actually a bomb. I guess there are no uses for keys in this game since you use money to unlock chests. Kind of like uh, Risk of Rain, for example. Okay. Cruising. These happy little goobers. It's a shame that they must die. All right. That was a clean one. What's what's this one? Uh, are you a shopkeep? Five coins to reroll. Very dangerous water synergy. Uh, what's my money at? Twenty one. How much do you want for this? I just get it. This is my reroll machine. You can use the lever over there to reroll the item. I'm just gonna take the the funny gun. Yeah, that seems good. And I bet a water plus electric synergy would go off. That sounds effective in my head. This is a real shop. Okay, so 21 gold. Everything costs 25. We've got extra shot. Um, damage up. And move speed up. I think that damage up would go pretty crazy. 0.15 doesn't sound like much. This guy has a health bar. Hmm. <laughs> what if? You don't, you don't think. How do I murder him? Bum? Okay, that doesn't work. How do I attack this man? Maybe I have to use more bombs? I want it all. I said no bombs. Okay. He now no longer has... Oh my god. Come on. Yes! <laughs> okay, we killed the shopkeep. <laughs> I'm a bastard. Okay. Uh, money equals power. Plus two damage every 50 coins. Sweet. 
<laughs> now it's all mine. Okay, so it cost me three bombs. I don't know if there's a better way of aggroing the shopkeep, but that, that seemed like a... Oh, there was a reroll machine! <laughs> I could have had so many better things. Okay, so these reroll machines seem to be pretty common. Oh my god. Uh, I'm... At first I was like, oh yeah, this is just like a cute little video game. Like, it's, it's an easy baby game, but like... Shit's going on. Stuff is going down. And I'm kind of loving it. I'm, I'm going to reroll that in hopes of a, a, another synergy. Um, okay. Let's hit that puppy. This thing takes a moment to go off. There we go. Alright, and let's jump over here. We now have Vampiric Instincts. Defeating enemies sometimes heal you. I love that. Love everything about that. Heals are good. Especially considering I'm kind of a, a dingus. That is some huge levels of damage. Love to just murder this guy very fast. The explodey boots are so good for damage output. Okay, yeah, there we go. We're we're pumping this time. We are absolutely pumping the damage, which is great. Uh, burst shots. I'm gonna buke. All right, yes, we'll, we'll take it. And we're definitely done here. Maybe I should have delayed my reroll even further for, like, the, the boss item. I wonder how that works. Alright, we made it to zone 3 of 3. That's good. Kind of a bop going on. Okay, we're, we're like, going beast mode now. Wait a second. <laughs> we're kind of... Are we hitting, like, god levels? Already? <laughs> we're so... Look, we vamped our, our missing health back. Holy shit. I think we're kind of... We're kind of hitting it. The second the second run was the, the run. We're definitely very powerful. Holy cow. Are we supposed to be this strong? I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be this strong. <laughs> this is... I've been, why does this always happen to me? It's... I feel like... It, it doesn't take long to... I mean, I, I guess it's just the way games are designed now, where you can just kind of become really, really strong. I'm about it. I like it. I like it a lot. One of these. And considering we went from, like, pretty weak... I mean, entirely weak. Like, not, not even pretty weak. We were very weak. To, to this strong is really cool. All right, we've got a drone make made from a toaster drone synergy. Uh, I don't know. I could, we, we can do better. That that thing hasn't interested me yet. I feel like that's like a I'm in a bad run kind of thing that you take. And considering how good our run is, I, I would dare not tamper with the the givings that we've gotten. Okay, sweet. And we've got, like, a bunch of hearts left over because of our vampirism. And there's, like, a crap ton of coins. Dude, this run's going off. This run do be going off. Okay. Beautiful. Just try to get that damage. Alright, nice. Beautiful. Let's keep her going. We, we've got, like, lots of HP ups. And we've got a new thing on the map there, too. Let's go check that out right away. I don't know if there's anybody who plays roguelikes without fault with full clearing. I, I feel like it's just so... It feels so natural to just full clear in these sort of games. Sometimes it is better to not full clear, but... Most of the time, you're just missing out on stuff. Are there any roguelikes where you're, like, intended to not full clear? The only ones that I can think of are, like, you know, Spelunky, Spelunky 2. Those ones you don't really full clear at all. I mean, yeah, I guess you could if you're score attacking, but it's not really helpful. What's this guy all about? Welcome! Spin the fortune wheel and win something nice. Good luck! Sweet. I love how many things are free. Like, the, sho the shop-esque things are free, and then the chest costs money. It's funny. I want the Gatling gun. I, I hit the button on the Gatling gun. We'll see if it stops there. It did not. 
We got a small heart health up with health synergy. I'm gonna go ahead and hope we get a reroll, because that's like maybe about as bad as we could have gotten. So we'll see if we can get a reroll. Dude, I'm just melting through everything. I think with the vampirism, depending on how often it procs, if, it, if it's like procking once a floor, I could literally just be bashing through enemies with the the bomb synergy where I, I proc a bomb on on hit. There we go. Although it doesn't seem like it's that active. The vampirism if we can get more levels of it, I bet it goes pretty crazy. And then we could have like a a bomb self punch build sort of deal. Where we walk into enemies, instantly explode them and then heal back from it. That would be pretty sweet. We've got a lot of health kicking around here, too, but I, I want to push the, the limits of vampirism for now and see um, just how powerful it is. Oof. Did take another hit there. We're down to three. Let's play a little bit better, I guess. Okay. That wasn't too bad. I wonder what dictates the rewards that you get. Okay, let's see what we got here. It is... Evade any ki Oh my god. <laughs> they just... They just gave me a dash. Oh, it's got a two-room cooldown. That's a damn shame. I was hoping for, like, an infinity dash. That's okay. It's not bad. Let's go ahead and, um... Pick up all the HP that we've got left sitting around. And then we'll... I... I I guess I could just kill the boss. I probably don't need to do the health sacrifice. But it is awfully tempting. You know, we, we do have extra health. Let's do it. I, I want to see what you get for it. And In this easy mode, this is the best time to learn. My, one, minus one max health. Okay, so it's max health that they take. Random shots. Hmm. You can, you can take a couple more. Minus one max health. Uh, heal half your health when starting a new zone. That's pretty bad. But if we, we, we get a health synergy here, so we'll, we'll, we'll give up another one. If we can. I want to see if they give anything particularly fantastic. Stomp enemies to splash them. Oh, that's great. So that's a water synergy, and we got splash synergy now. Which is explosive splashes, which gives us the... Ex oh, it doesn't quite give us the explosion synergy. Isn't this the one we already have? Oh, this is, is, is this one different? It must, oh, it, it's explosive splashes, not explosive. I got it. Okay. Let's, let's give up another heart. Because we're, we're kind of cooking here. Uh, release a stream of charged particles on the ground. I mean, yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure, why not? Sounds good. Okay, so we're, we're going to take this and um, can I go... Oh, we've got the health synergy, so now we get the health up. And now we can... We can't spin this again. It's it's a one-spin time... A one-time spin. But now we can go back here and try to go for some more synergies. Because we want to get the water synergy. Um, damage boost on kill stacks up to six times. Sounds cool. Let, let's, let's sack down to four. I think four is like a good amount of health. Random stats and abilities. Yeah, that sounds funny. Um, <laughs> my fire rate and damage are down. My crit went way, way up. Okay, we're, we're gonna stick with that, and we're gonna go after the boss fight here. Okay. Alright, the, the damage... The damage is absurd. <laughs> we're doing a lot of damage. Okay, we got him. Sick. Holy cow, we just ripped him to pieces. Alright. Oh shit, it's getting all glitchy looking. That's kind of monka. Uh-oh. What's going on? Oh, I, I reset it by jumping out. I wonder what's going to happen. I mean, this game is called Rogue Glitch Ultra, so, you know. Are we in like... Please free me! Oh god. Uh-oh. I can't take it! What is happening here? Oh, real boss? Real boss is here? Are we, are we gonna die? Is this just an auto-death? Oh, hello. What a delightful surprise. I've taken a liking to this game. It's the perfect place to work. 
for my work to unfold, and you will be my test subject. <laughs> the stupid tongue emoji. I'm going to create a whole new world. So try again. Or are you giving up already? For now, just be God. Alright, we unlock Spider. Oh my god, he's waving. Well, he just insta crushed me, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Difficulty unlocked. Medium. The game just got harder. Sick. Okay. Um. So we got like a bunch of new unlocks, and now we're now we're on medium. There's there's a little. <laughs> look at him go. He's so fast. What a fast little guy. Hang on. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Okay, so we've got upgrades. And you can upgrade individual characters. So what what does upgrading this guy do? It gives you damage. And then at level three, there's an item reroll, which is super pog. So we've got uh, Chap, the average dude with average stats. We got Quick. Uh, Quick can dash, and he runs very fast. That sounds super cute. I want to I want to check out. How do I how do I be quick? Oh, I am quick. Look at that. So I'm I'm like a lot. I, I got I'm a lot leggier. I got them leg muscles. Alright, let, well, let's see what Spider's about. Sticks to walls, has great air control. Like a tetrapod. I don't really feel the great air control too much. But that's sick. That, oh my god, I'm excited to play more of this game. Um, we're, we're, we're 41 minutes into this episode, so I think we're going to go ahead and call it here. And I'm going to record one more. And uh, then I will leave it to you. If you'd like to see more of these, please let me know in the comments down below. Leave a leave a like, that sort of thing. Let me know if you want to see more Rogue Glitch Ultra. And uh, yeah, we're going to be streaming this in the near future once the embargo's up. So keep an eye out on Twitch. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Catch you later.